So this is for our midterm. This is the start of our midterm for our group one and ion. So we will start with our first anon. We will be starting by adding 10 drops of 3F HCl. That's already 10 drops. And then we add 0 0.1 grams of potassium chloride. Chlorate, potassium chlorate. 0 0.1 grams of potassium chlorate, which I cannot get. Wait, I cannot. <laughs> Ayun. That is approximately a pea size. Then we add it to our solution. After that, we mix. And then, here is our unknown. We add 10 drops of our unknown. And then if you can notice in the solution, there is vigorous effervescence or the appearance of bubbles. I hope papers ko bilay. Sounds good. Para maaari. Okay, sige there. There, here oh. There is effervescence or bubbling. Ayun. There. There's the bubbles. So that is for your unknown number one. Okay, so for our second unknown, um, belonging to the group one and ions, okay, we start by adding to our test tube okay, 10 drops of con concentrated hydrochloric acid. And then we add to it okay, 10 drops as well of barium acetate. And then lastly, we add 10 drops of our unknown solution to our test tube. Okay, so please take notice of um, okay, the change okay, as I add our unknown solution to our test tube. Okay, 10 drops of it. And then right after, okay, we centrifuge our test tube, okay, containing um, all of the solutions we've added to it, okay, for five minutes. Okay, so right after centrifugation, okay, our solution would form these white precipitates. If you guys could um, take a closer look, okay, which would um, confirm, or um, yes, would confirm the presence of um, the particular compound, this particular compound that belongs to our group 1 anions. Okay, for our third unknown, okay, we begin by adding to our test tube 10 drops of concentrated nitric acid. And then we add to it okay, 0 0.2 grams of tartaric acid. Okay, which would be just about this size. Okay. 
and then lastly we add to it our um, unknown solution okay 10 drops of it And then we centrifuge our sample or our solution okay, for five minutes. Okay, so um, this would be, okay, right after centrifugation, this would be um, the positive reaction for our unknown three, okay, for the compound belonging to our group one anions. As you could see, okay, it has developed, okay, yellow precipitates. So this is for your last unknown, for your group 1 and ions. For this one, we will be adding 10 drops of 1.5 H2SO4, 1.5F of H2SO4, 10 drops. And then, <coughs> we add 5 drops of your 0.1F of potassium permanganate. This is your potassium permanganate. There. Five drops. This will be the indicator for our unknown. Three, four, five. After that, we add another ten drops of our unknown. This is our unknown. Then we mix it a little. After that, we put this in our water bath for 3 minutes and we notice if there are any changes after. After putting it in the water bath, this is now your solution. There is a disappearance of color from your potassium permanganate, which would indicate the presence of our fourth unknown.